Rightio guys, welcome back to another video. So here's something I haven't shown on the channel. Uh, this is exactly the same motor as the Johnson, except it's a 25. Now you will know that my Johnson, before I restored it, um, it was actually a 20. Now it has 25 decals on it, because when I was restoring it, I managed to find this outboard. This is a Evinru 25, as you can see. And it has something very important on the motor that I want to switch over to my 20 and see how it goes. It's not going to be permanent because I don't know how it's going to work because I think this has different timing to my 20 horsepower. So I'm not sure whether it's going to run perfectly the same or if this one with the difference in the timing, um, it will reflect onto the 20 and the 20 will now run like crap. But uh, yeah, what I want off of this one is a carburetor and an intake. First, however, we've got to move the RMZ out of the way. So we'll just kick that up and slowly roll it forward. So we'll just put the cowl open. That lever on the bottom there is our lock. And all we're going to do is pull this cowl up and down if I can, like so. Drop that there. And there is our cowl off. Now this one, um, the engine is rooted in it and so is the bottom end, as you can see. Um, I did primarily buy it just for the leg, which is in very good condition, remarkably. And also, of course, the intake and the carb. So yeah, this here carb I have rebuilt. I should have videoed it, actually. That would have been a good uh, start off to this video. So yeah, I have rebuilt it. Um, so it's got a complete kit in it. Uh, so it should all be sealed. Needle and seat works very well, which I think it was sticking up um, because I had problems with it when I first tried it on the uh, 20. Um, I have already mounted it up and tried it, uh, but I had a lot of problems with it. So I just took it off and put it back on this because I've been using the 20 and with the car it has at the moment, it runs all right. It's a bit gutless, but uh, I reckon if we get this 25 carb sorted out, it might actually run quite well. But yeah, so the carb shouldn't really be an issue to take off. Every All of the uh, hoses I've already loosened and taken off, and these nuts are also loose. Um, so the carb should come off real easy. Like that. So there's our carby there. Um, I've heard very good things about these carbs. They're pretty reliable. Um, yeah, Johnson, they are genuine Evinru Johnson. If you're looking for anything with um, anything genuine Johnson or Evinru, I don't know if you can see it now, but there's a little M symbol there. That M symbol is the um, Apple Boda symbol. So that's, yeah, genuine. Anything uh, Evinru Johnson, we usually have the uh, Outboard Marine Corp. Uh, parts logo on there so I'll just sit that on the ground for now we have got our new gasket um, and all we have to do to get this intake off is a bunch of 7 16 bolts holding it in and right at the back here there is a flathead screwdriver be very careful when you're taking that off um, obviously being a flathead screwdriver you can easily round out the, uh, the slot um, if they're corroded in, which usually they aren't, they're pretty good because usually the oil and fuel seeps into the threads. But it's always good to be um, on the know and be really careful when you're taking that off. I've also got a uh, new set of fuel line here that we can put in because the old one looks just a little bit tatty. Um, so yeah, we'll put that in as well when we go to fit this new carb up. Uh, but nonetheless, let's get to pulling this intake manifold off. Okie dokie, so here's the uh, bit we're after. This is our intake manifold. And uh, to show you why this motor is my parts motor as well, other than the bugged leg. Um, this one has swallowed a reed, which is not real ideal. Um, that would signify that fuel has most likely been spitting up back through the carburetor. Um, 
God knows where the reed's gone now. Um, I want to hope it's either gone out the exhaust or is stuck somewhere out of harm's way in the motor. Um, uh, because, yeah, if it's in harm's way and it's been chopped up, I don't really want to <laughs> see what the motor looks like inside. But uh, honestly, it pulls over all right. It's got lots of compression too, so... I don't know. It's, the motor actually feels very sound when you turn it over. Other than the reeds, it feels like a very, very uh, tight motor, which is very good. Um, hopefully the reed has either been, as I said, shoved out the exhaust or it's just sitting out of harm's way somewhere in the block. Rightio, so we got the lovely old 20 mounted up in the water here. Just rip the cowling off real quick. There we go. Put that somewhere safe where it won't get destroyed. And uh, yeah, here we go. So that's our 20 horsepower carburetor. So I'll show you this later, the little difference between the intake on this and the 25's intake. So yeah. Nose that up, I'll get a rab and wipe it out. But uh, in the meantime, we'll yank this 20 horsepower carburetor off and take the intake with it. Okay, so now we've got them off. You can probably see already the 25 and the 20 both have very different sized intake holes. The 25 and 30 intake has a very big hole compared to the 20 horsepower, which has a very, very minute and uh, small hole. So uh, yeah, that's basically the big difference between the intakes and that's why if you're doing this conversion, you do need have the bigger intake on you. So now I'm going to do, I'll pull the car back off of that intake and I'm going to mount it up to the outboard here. So uh, watch the time ups and I'll uh, get it all fitted up. Okay, so I'll clear my tools up uh, as well as all the manifolds and stuff and get all the old stuff out of the way so I don't lose it. But right at this moment, we're ready to try and get it going. Um, as you may have seen, I've got it mounted in a bucket of water. We're all in neutral. Give it a little bit of throttle. Another pump of this. She lopes a bit lower than the old 20 card does. It's not even really getting hot. She's got a bit more guts too. 
State Island. 20 wouldn't even do that. This thing's a beaut. Alright, uh, I reckon that'll be the end of the video, guys. If you uh, don't mind, please consider liking and subscribing. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely see you in the next one for more uh, tips on these old Johnson 25s. Cheers.